slain. What's up everybody, this is Fireside. Um, I'm just making a quick video, because I've had a couple people ask me um, in the chat portion of my live stream. Um, f what have I done to become a better sniper? Now, I'll, I'll preface this whole thing by saying I'm not, I'm by far not the best sniper in the world. I don't claim to be. <clears throat> I'm like average at best. Um, but I used to be terrible, um, especially with Halo 3 uh, snipers. I just started playing Halo 3 snipers um, not too long ago. Um, I just I didn't have a 360 when Halo 3 was out at the time, so um, you know from 2006 till about 2010 or 11, I really wasn't playing Halo at all. Um, but I went from you know if I was lucky being able to get like five or six kills and like going negative 10 or 15 to being able to get you know uh, up in the higher teens low 20s mid 20s um, and going positive you know like at least positive five maybe positive 10 uh, on a, or something like that on a good day um, and there's just a few things that <clears throat> I've I've learned that um, you know are pretty basic to most people and you know if you're already a decent sniper or a good sniper you're probably gonna hear these tips and be like yeah that's you know no kidding of course these are who wouldn't know to do that but there are people out there that really don't know and would like to be um would like to improve their sniper so this is for people like that you know this is definitely not for people who already have decent or you know like pro semi-pro level um the first is pretty obvious the first tip is um just knowing the maps um, knowing the maps, knowing the spawns, I'm still trying to learn the maps and the spawns. Uh, I only picked this video not because I did, you know, extremely well. I mean, I didn't do too bad, but I picked it because this is probably, uh, in terms of Team Snipers, one of the maps that I know best, um, especially when it comes to like spawns and stuff like that. Um, <clears throat> and in terms of you know like you know where to be, knowing where the cover is, knowing where to go to get cover, depending on where you are, things like that. Just knowing stuff like that, knowing okay where to go off your spawn, where they're going to be off your spawn, um, knowing where to get cover, um, positioning yourself in a place where you know if you don't get the headshot or you don't get the kill uh, right away, being able to have some sort of cover not only from the person that you're uh, you're um, in a in a battle with, but from where they might be spawning. Um, again, I'm still trying to learn that kind of stuff myself, so I'm by no means an expert. But <coughs> um, that's just a, a general thing that applies to pretty much all game types. Um, another tip is um, a learning. It, it kind of goes with the first one, learning the elevations of the map and kind of learning to set your your reticle um, or your scope, whatever you want to call it, to where you know where the the enemy is going to be when you like come around a corner or you go up over a hill. Um, knowing how to kind of set your reticle ahead of time so that when you come over, you don't have to do a whole lot of aiming. You can just you know, come up over that ledge and fire, or go around that corner and immediately fire. Um, that just comes with practice, playing the maps uh, as much as possible, even if you're, you know, not getting a whole lot of kills. Um, I have, on several occasions, just gone around the map and just tried to learn where to place my reticle, where I think the enemy is going to be, beforehand, instead of um, sort of aiming in a in a you know, uh, a reactive nature, you know, coming around the corner and then going, oh, that's where they are, and then trying to, you know, quickly, quickly aim. Um, that's something that, you know, sometimes you have to do, because um, the enemy ends up not being where you think they're going to be. Um, and again, that's another thing that just comes with practice. Um, <clears throat> the, the next tip um, that I can tell you is learning when to scope, when not to scope. Um, and um, kind of part of this, part of that goes with um, learning to no scope. Um, there's certain times where scoping in is just going to be probably a worse idea than just trying to no scope. Um, so knowing when to scope in, when not to scope in, 
And when you're not scoped in, learning how to to no scope better. That's probably one of the best tools in your in your arsenal. Um, that's something I'm particularly bad at. Uh, I, mean, I have my good days and I have my bad days. But um, <clears throat> when no scoping, it's generally easier uh, easier unless somebody's you know you're in a battle or one v one with somebody unless they jump or something like that. It's generally better to not use the right stick, uh, the aiming stick, in other words, to do most of your aiming. It's better to sort of just strafe and try to move with the enemy or, um, it, you know, you use that stick, the left stick, the movement stick, more than you use the, uh, the aiming stick. Just because, you know, it's, it's, especially at distances, if somebody is moving, you know, they're generally probably moving pretty slowly whereas if you're trying to aim with the right stick you know the the stick that you used to aim it's it, it kind of moves pretty quickly and unless you have your sensitivity really low say like three or below um, you're probably gonna move uh, the reticle quicker than they're actually moving so it's usually easier just to like I did right there just kind of keep your reticle in one place and just move try to move with them or um, maybe just move and wait for them to come into view and then try to get a shot off then um, you know if you're standing still obviously that leaves you open to being an easier target but it's just knowing when to do that and when and when not to do that um, <clears throat> one of the biggest tips uh, or one of the biggest things that has um, that has helped me is um, just in addition to learning how to no scope better, um, has been learning how to adjust your aim when you're jumping and or strafing. Um, <clears throat> and part of that is kind of predicting where the enemy is going to go. You know, if you're in a 1v1 battle with somebody and they jump up in the air, rather than trying to chase them in the air, um, it's generally a better idea to just you know, go, okay, they're jumping up and to the left. I'm going to set my, my, my crosshairs or my reticle kind of where I think they're going to land. Um, and you don't have to predict exactly where their head's going to be. Obviously, if you can do that, you know, you practice that and you get good at that, that's, that's good. Um, but sometimes it's just better to get a body shot and then follow up with, you know, another body shot or a melee if you're close enough, things like that. Um, <clears throat> and that's an, kind of another tip is you don't always have to get the headshot, especially if somebody's one shot. Um, there's no point in going for the headshot unless you're just trying to be flashy. Um, and if you have a decent team and y y or, you know, your team is, is pretty decent at putting shots on targets, that also kind of makes it easier for you because you're not always having to go for the pinpoint accuracy of aiming for their head every time. So obviously that helps quite a lot. Um, and uh, I, just uh, the, the last tip is, <coughs> is also kind of, and this goes for again, any pretty much any game type in Halo, is just keeping your composure. Obviously I wasn't really paying attention there. Um, lucky I got at least one of them, but um, keeping your composure, whether it be, you know, you, you just got spawn killed three times, or you're playing against people who are better than you and you just keep getting outshot, um, or even, you know, the exact opposite, say you get like a triple kill, you know, just keeping your composure and, and not letting that kind of go to your head, get excited and, and get flustered. It's probably one of the things I am absolutely worst at, um, especially when, you know, I'm on a killing spree or something like that. I tend to sometimes focus more on, like, trying to, you know, get a nice double kill or trying to continue that spree or something like that than I am just, you know, just putting shots on people or, or just keeping my cool and, and, and trying to keep that momentum going. Um, that's something, again, just takes a lot of practice. And, and that's the, pretty much the last tip, is just keep practicing. Um, I know it sounds, you know, everybody's going to tell you that any sort of tip videos 
or, or, or tutorials or anything like that are obviously going to tell you practice makes perfect, just keep practicing. But, I mean, they say that for a reason. It really does help. Um, within a week of me starting to play Halo 3 Snipers, um, I, I stepped my game up quite a bit. And again, you know, I'm far from the best sniper in the world, but it, it definitely helps, you know, whether it be um, just, you know, losing a bunch and then going back in theater, which is actually another great tip, going back in the theater and seeing what you did wrong, like, okay, I, I challenged that when I shouldn't have, or I jumped out and, and tried to no-scope when I probably should have scoped in, things like that, or you know, off my spawn, I went over here when I should have paid attention to where my team or teammates were and try to go over here. Um, you know, if you're playing, especially if you're playing Halo 3 nowadays, a lot of people don't have mics until you get in the higher levels. Um, it's, you know, communications virtually non-existent, so it helps just to see where your teammates are, see if they're, you know, firing or anything like that. You can kind of tell if you know the map very well. Um, you can kind of tell where the enemy might be and you know where to go off your spawn and you know where not to go off your spawn. Um, I'll have more videos like this as probably as I improve to just kind of pass on the uh, just the tips and tricks that have helped me improve from being absolutely terrible at Halo 3 snipers to being you know somewhat half decent or even pretty good um, on one of my better days. So uh, look forward to that. And until next time, we'll see